Hey everybody, you know what that is right there? That is a voltage meter, and I am sitting in a golf cart, electric golf cart. Uh, and so if you're in a situation where you need to know how much electricity you got left in the old batteries so you don't get stuck somewhere, this video might just be for you. So this item was sent to me by the company. They reached out and they said, Ryan, can you do one of your very helpful, uh, super cool, uh, informative review videos of our item? And who am I to say? Uh, no. So of course I said yes, but in no way whatsoever. I want to disclose that uh, that will positively nor negatively impact my review. Let's get into it. So this thing is super cool. It allows you to go from a 24 volt, it will register 20, I'm sorry, 12 volt all the way up to 72 volts. And there's only three things to hook up. So this is what it looks like. This happens to be a fully charged battery. So as the, the battery juice goes down, then you'll be like, oh, wait, oh, we got to get back to the charger. So that's what it looks like here. I just have this uh, kind of temporarily rigged up because I really was excited about this. It's really kind of kind of, kind of cool. Uh, you only have three wires here. You have one. You have a positive, a negative, and a C. C is, a, I, I think it's, they it, it don't say it, but it's called, it's for control. So if you want to hook this up to like an ignition switch, you can do that. Uh, one, the, the, in this situation, these wires, another thing, these wires are not provided. So um, you would need to provide your own uh, wires, but your connections, which I'll show you here shortly, uh, do come. There's some screws and some other things that, that come with it. One goes to either the, um, the beginning of your series of, of uh, batteries on the positive, and then the other one goes on the negative at the end of the series, and then this one will go to the control, which is really hooked up to your ignition. So when you put the key in and you turn the switch, it will turn it on. Um, and so you also get with this, some of these connections that allow you to um, uh, connect the wires nice and neat, as you, if you might have saw there. I just have it kind of rigged up just because I want to get this review done because it was pretty kind of kind of pretty cool. Some situations behind the dash, behind here, uh, you can splice into the uh, power from the battery, the power, the positive and negative from the battery behind your golf cart. So every golf cart is going to be a little bit different. Again, there probably is other things that you could use this for where you would want to keep track of your voltage. This just happens to be a golf cart, I guess. I guess you could use this in, um, you know, doing some kind of custom setup. If you have like a like a kid's power wheels, so those little cars that um, the kids use, you could you could definitely use this as long as your battery's uh, power is at least 12 volts. So it, have to, it has to be at least 12 volts and up to 72 volts. Now, you might be thinking, man, that one, meter, that one meter can do all that. Well, yes, it can. Check this out. So on the back here, there's these little pins. There's a protective cover. I've taken that off. It goes right back on for, for weatherproofing. Uh, but in your installation uh, manual, it says, okay, what size battery setup do you have? This one just happens to be 48, 48 volts. It says, oh, okay. So in this example, it says uh, one of the pins down right here on the left. The other two pins facing up. You just stick a little pencil in there or something. Uh, pointy, you just toggle it up, toggle it down, and then you're good to go as far as your current battery setup. So if you had a 12 volt setup, you would follow the instructions and it'd be a little bit different. If you had a 72, same thing, a little bit, a little bit different. It takes all about half a second to go in there and flip these up or down. And the instructions are super easy to read. It literally just says pin up, pin down, what size battery setup you have. Very, very, very simple. Um, so how simple it is from a battery setup, check this out. Now I have not permanently wired this in. I'm just using this from a demonstration purpose. But as you can see here, we have the beginning of the battery here. And then over there, all the way over there, um, we have that battery. So that's the, the negative over there. This is the positive over here. And again, these wires are not provided. I just went ahead and I, I wanted to just set this up and go straight to the battery without having to tap into some of the wires that are, that are um, actually behind here. So I actually probably am going to do that. I might need a voltage meter just to make sure I do it right. But that's all it is. Now, if you're wanting, how can I get this like a nice clean setup so it looks really professional? Well, you also get this little template that comes with the package. Pretty cool. All you do is you take your template, you set it down right there where you want it, you draw it out, and then you'd have to cut in, and your voltage meter has the two holes, so you slide it right in there, and then it comes with two bolts, you bolt it in, you clean up your wires, you put the dash back together, and you're good to go. So here's an example of what it would look like completely installed, completely screwed in. This is an opposition, you cut it on, 
the lights flash letting you know that it's connected correctly and then it stops and that gives you your voltage signal and you're good to go. So if you're looking for a voltage meter to kind of keep track of your, uh, your, uh, the juice you got left in your battery so you don't get stuck anywhere, this is pretty simple. Hope that helps.